Okay, jump rope came, and even though, whoops, even though you can, according to the instructions, cut it down to fit your necessary requirements, we are going to shorten it for the little kids. Mm -hmm. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take this knob over here off and we're going to take the string and we're going to put a knot in it so that later we can undo that knot and make it big enough for the kids to mm -hmm. use another one for double dutch or for um, an adult to use it too. So we'll put the video back on when we get to that. All right? All right, Gage. Put this, turn it around, start feeding it into, yeah, just keep putting it in. Keep, ah. <laughs> Put it in there. Keep shoving it in there. There's how, a lot. How come that it, it's very small and then all of that yarn looks like it in there? Because we're going to shorten it from this really, really long rope to this really, really short rope. And we're going to do that with this cap. Okay, hold on, I'm going to... After multiple attempts at trying to wind the jump rope into the handle, there was no way to fit that amount of rope, and we want to keep it to do double dutch with. So we're just going to wrap it around the handle like the old fashioned way and try it from there. All right. Try to jump rope. I know how to do it. Do what? Jump rope? Mm -hmm. Can you try? Make sure you don't hit that one. Oh, wow, that was backwards. Yeah. You may have to choke up a little bit on it so it's not so long. <laughs> wow. Do you want me to keep doing it? Yeah, do it one more time. Oh. Up. Ouch. That hurt. All right. Awesome. Now let me try. I did you try it one more time? time? I tried it the one time. Woo! <laughs>